I was blessed with not one, not two, but three trips to Romania as part of my global studies experience. I recruited for the first ever Swickley Academy Middle School Exchange. I first ventured to the land of Dracula, Transylvania, as a seventh grader accompanied by two eighth graders. I returned again to Cluj Napoca, the second largest city in Romania, one year later, this time as a veteran traveler and assistant group leader with six seventh graders. When it came to decide on my trip as part of the Senior School Global Studies program, the decision was easy. I wanted to once again take the road less traveled and return to Romania for an extended homestay, community service, and language enrichment. These new experiences over the course of five years has led me to an amazing journey of personal growth. Let me share with you some of my outside the comfort zone experiences that have contributed to my development. On my first trip, it was tough meeting my homestay family at the airport after three flights and an elapsed time of 23 hours. They spoke very little English. As I said goodbye to my essay traveling companions, I really asked myself, what have I gotten myself into? But Senora O had prepared us well and I was ready for the unknowns that I was going to face. I was anxious to meet the students at the International School of Cluj, but they welcomed us with open arms and made us feel like rock stars. We were all interviewed on Romanian national television as part of the first U.S. Romanian student exchange. My self-confidence soared on my first trip as I realized, yes, I can tackle any challenge. My newfound self-confidence gained during my first trip enabled me to take a leadership role on the second middle school exchange. This time, I was a veteran traveler, and I assisted our, our teacher chaperones with managing the group of 6th, 7th graders. This trip gave me the experience and confidence to pursue leadership roles at Swickley Academy. A short time later, I was elected freshman class president, and I have continued to take an active leadership role in student council. In addition, I am president of two clubs, assistant captain of the cross-country team, and captain of the tennis team. My remaining adventures empowered me to step up and take the lead. Let me share two quick stories of my emerging independence. On my first trip, we visited Pelish Castle and I immediately fell in love with it. One souvenir vendor had a painting of the castle, painted by his handicapped brother. I negotiated the price from 250 lei to 150 lei, all by myself with no adult intervention. On my extended homestay, I was facing three flights from Pittsburgh to Cluj, entirely on my own. On the first leg from Pittsburgh to Paris, the flight was delayed in Pittsburgh due to a mechanical issue. I missed my connection in Paris. I made a very brief and panicked call to home for a bit of reassurance, took a deep breath, and faced the gate agents to make the flight changes. Needless to say, my luggage did not make it to Cluj, and I had to improv for the next few days. It used to be so easy when my mom did things for me, but now I realized I need no crutch and can face life's challenges by myself. How did I learn to roll with the punches? I was mortified when my host mom poured me a glass of milk from a box on the counter rather than from a jug from the refrigerator. I was not too excited about tepid milk from aseptic packaging, so I pretended to drink some and put the glass on the counter after my host mom left the kitchen. I was encouraged to do some Romanian language enrichment, so I engaged a tutor for some intense one-on-one -on -one training. I had left Swickley Academy the day school ended, and to my surprise, the International School of Cluj was still in session. I attended school for another two weeks with the students. My brain never really got a break, and here I was being challenged to the max with another romance language. Thank you to Madame Stewart, Spinelli, and Metzinger for all those years of French that have helped me learn a good smattering of Romanian. I quickly came to love Romania and all things Romanian. I was taken back by the little waste they generate each week, and swiftly, each family puts out several containers of trash. In Romania, it's only one small bag. They love grilled food, gathering with friends and family, motorcycles, concerts, escapes to the mountains, red clay tennis courts, things we enjoy, but their lives much simpler. I wrote about my passion for Romanian in my college essay for early decision admission to Lafayette College. In my acceptance letter, it's specifically cited as a factor in my favorable admission decision. As Oprah Winfrey says, passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. What could be more diverse than an American volunteering at a Romanian day camp with counselors from Belgium and campers from all around the world? I spent over 100 hours of my extended homestay assisting at the International School of Cluj day camps. I love the rich and vast offerings of other cultures. We reciprocated on the exchange, hosting students on two occasions. 
Our first student was Japanese by birth, had lived in both Japan and Italy, and now currently lives in Romania. I love learning about the diversity of two cultures. My Romanian adventures have been truly a life-changing experience for me. I would like to thank a number of people that made this possible. Senora O, who knew this would be a great trip for me and encouraged me to keep stretching my wings. Doug McAdams for making the McAdams Global Scholars possible. And of course, Nancy Wilde of the Global Studies Committee for her guidance and tutelage. Finally, I would like to dedicate my growth as a person to the memory of Kurt Cerny, an advisor of mine on my first trip who instilled in me the yes I can attitude.